Season's greetings, happy holidays, and welcome to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. This is the season of thanks. Giving is also a major part of the upcoming holidays, and we are so very fortunate to have many organizations and selfless, caring people all across the Poconos which step up their game this time of the year. From charities, including the Salvation Army, and a certain radio personality who showers outside in the freezing cold every December to raise money to help kids. Merry Christmas! We'll meet some of the caring individuals and organizations for which we're so very grateful this Thanksgiving. More on that in a moment. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions, and with 2,400 square miles of mountains, forests, lakes, and rivers, with historic downtowns and iconic family resorts, it's the perfect getaway. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7 at PoconoTelevision.com. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week, highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience while you're visiting the Poconos. Subscribe and leave a review and or comment on whatever platform you listen. Back to the episode now. The Tuesday after Thanksgiving is dubbed Giving Tuesday. When charities ask that you give what you're able to give to help those in need, not just this holiday season, but all year round. We have many organizations, including the United Way, Salvation Army, and many, many more. We sat down with Major John and Major Martha Wheeler of the Salvation Army in East Stroudsburg and Michael G. Stanton with Bold Gold Media Group to learn about their efforts this year and every year to make the holidays a bit brighter for others. Hello, it's Jim Hamill with Pocono Mountains Podcast here in the East Stroudsburg University studio with some very special guests wanting to talk about charitable giving this holiday season. I'm joined by Majors Martha and John Wheeler with uh, the East Stroudsburg Salvation Army and with Michael Mm -hmm. G. Stanton with Bold Gold Media. He does the shower for charity each and every year out in Honesdale in the frigid cold in December. Thank you all mm-hmm. for joining me here. Thank you for having us. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'd like to start with you folks. You know, it is November as we're taping, and just right now we're starting to see the red kettle, you know, the ringers going out in force, asking people to give what they can to the cause. And I wanted to know, just from the standpoint of the Salvation Army, what's the impact of the charitable giving that you see throughout each and every year this time of year? Mm. Salvation Army Kettle started back in 1891, San Francisco. They were trying to feed about 25,000 people Christmas dinner. Um, Since then, we've been doing kettles, but since then what we do has changed. It's not just about the food anymore. It gets into sheltering and toys and all sorts of other things that we take care of. Um, The need is great, so we keep putting the kettles out. That's really important, and I know that it's it's the, the fact that there's so many different ways to give now. You used to be able to give you know, cash and coin, but um, every little bit counts, right? Isn't that's that right? right? That's right. And j- there's also virtual kettles and other ways to give and n- just bringing stuff into us as well, not just kettles. Mm-hmm. And I think what a lot of people don't know is that the kettle collections aren't just to cover Christmas. Sure. It kind of brings us through the rest of the year as well to supply the needs of the people in our community. It's got to be exciting. You have a lot of programs coming up that you're yes, about to embark yes, on, right? Yes, not just ju- not just Christmas dinner, but we've got Thanksgiving boxes that are ready to go for 300 families mm-hmm. on Monday, and then we go full force into preparing for up to 650 families for Christmas with wow. toys and food, and that will be on December 21st. So it's it's a full mm. month of prep and packing and collecting well, and yeah. Um, in addition to that, we, we do have the shelter, we right. have a soup kitchen, and we still have our ongoing social services. Yeah. And yeah, it's Christmas, so we have <laughs> parties, and one of the, one of the, one of the most special is the um, community Christmas party for children on December 1st. So that's an exciting time. Just to see everybody's faces light up, you know, when they receive gifts this time of year, it's it's amazing. And Michael, to see what you do, you go out each and every year for 20 years now. You've been showering outside in the frigid cold for the Shower for Charity in Honesdale. Tell me what that's all about. It's not pretty, first of all. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) uh, I stand outside literally in a claw tub in boxer shorts uh, on, on Main Street this year. It'll be December the 11th. It is or was on December 11th. Right. And... 
uh, I will stay in there until we raise twenty thousand dollars, or until, as I say, you know, my lips turn blue and <laughs> they tell me you got to get out. But you know, I've turned different colors in the past. But it's one of those things where, honestly, it's the uh, it's it's the people, it's the uh, businesses that contribute. I'm that silly looking dude that mm -hmm. gets older and pastier and <laughs> wider. <laughs> But it's the businesses, it's, you know, Coterra Energy this year again, they were Cabot and they're donating $5,000 again. Um, you know, we always have like Wayne County Ford and all those folks that, that donate every year and people come by and, and, and I guess much like the Salvation Army, every little bit count, whether it's a quarter, whether right. it's a dime, right. whether right. it's, you know, just some pocket change, it, it literally all adds up. And yeah, so this will be my 20th year on Main Street, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It is a sight to be Oh, it's really something. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People come from far and wide to see Mike. They really do, yeah. which is, yeah. which yeah. they go, oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So tell me then also <laughs> with the Red Kettles, they're out there. Um, that, that's a significant amount of volunteers that go out there into the community. And, and that's what we need to, I think uh, you would agree, uh, kind of incentivize or, or inspire people to do is to give back in any way, shape, or form that they can right. throughout, not just this time of year, but all year round. Right. The kettles are out, they're scheduled eight hours a day from yesterday through Christmas Eve. That's a lot of hours covering lots of stores. Um, we need lots of volunteers to keep that going. Um, so they can call us to volunteer to cover one of the kettles, even if all they have is a couple hours. Mm -hmm. That's helpful to keep that covered. Um, all sorts of other opportunities to give to the Salvation Army online. If you don't have cash, there's a QR code on the sign. Just put your phone up and you can donate through your phone. Lots of ways to give. I see, I never yeah. realized that. I will, you know, I always have a debit card and yeah. maybe I've got some quarters in my pocket, mm -hmm. but um, being able to do that, yeah, I think, is awesome. a lot of people don't carry cash anymore. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. Great. And, and this time of year, too, uh, the need is ever greater, right? I mean, we're talking about two years in now almost with the pandemic yeah. and the economic crisis. So the need is greater than ever. I know we hear that a lot of the times, but you probably see that in the community where people are, are still struggling to kind of make ends meet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We're still trying to get back to normal. And, and we're, we're blessed with so many volunteers, not just on the kettles, but for in the warehouse, in the pantry, packing mm -hmm. these boxes and, and being there with our drive through, you know, with. 200 cars coming through to receive turkeys and and a box of food and gifts. It's it's, it's an amazing community and we're, we're so grateful. We certainly are. Mm. All right, so Michael, uh, you know, you have been out there in some really frigid temperatures. <laughs> Describe to me like what that's like to be outdoors uh, in the freezing cold for hours on end. Uh, it's not, it's not fun, <laughs> I will say. And you know, my parents every year come out and my dad's 82, my mom is in her, I should know upper side, I should know maybe she's 78. And they come out every year, my family comes out and you know, the, the, the folks at the radio station and, and thank them, you know, Emily Grillo, who's the, now the GM up there uh, in the Pocono uh, Lake region office. All those folks come out and they help. It, there have been some times literally when it was a wind chill of zero and there's been times when it's <laughs> been in the teens when I go out and I will stay there until we raise $20,000. And I've never gotten out when we didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Literally ice on my hair, on the hair of my arms, my legs. And the only way I can kind of explain it is I'm gonna leave there and, and get in warm clothes and go to a, a warm house. Mm -hmm. There, there are folks, kids that they don't have a warm coat yeah. or they don't have a house that's warm. Maybe they have a house, but it's, they can't afford that's the right. heat bill or, or whatever. So, okay, so I'm cold for a little while. Like whoop de doo Merry Christmas! At the time, I'm not saying whoop de doo <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, please, you know, somebody right donate $1,000 and, and it'll be on, but, but yeah. yeah. So it's, 
it's interesting it's fun and uh it and it's for you know it's for a great cause like like yeah. you folks right. do yeah. 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 yeah and just think like you're out there singing um people are driving by like wide-eyed <laughs> like what is happening here? oh yeah i mean and you could read it, lips oh yeah so <laughs> and when they're driving by and i love like when you see a little when you see a little kid right they're driving by and then they realize i'm over here and they put their hand on the window and they all the way by <laughs> <laughs> they're looking and you know and the parents are in the car and again they they're definitely saying something out loud and you're reading their lips and i won't even yeah. do it but they yeah yeah it's it's definitely entertaining so maybe you guys could take a little something <laughs> from here and yeah. like uh, put it into the red <laughs> kettle program yeah. right uh -huh, that's right we actually had one of our kettle collectors several years ago in another community that stayed out there on one kettle for 42 hours straight no way how do you stay Marathon. awake yeah. exactly and and one of the fun parts was he didn't check with the store first the store planned to close overnight oh. So he had to pick up his stand and walk to another store with it wow. to keep going overnight. And then in the morning, pick it all up and walk back to where he started to finish his shift. Jeez. That's dedication. That is too. dedication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you know that the need, nice. you do yeah. what yes. you can yeah. to raise yeah. the money. And, 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 and you, you know, stand in that shower. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's one of, I think when, when people donate, as we, you know, when before we started, um, I think when you donate or when you do something nice, you do feel, you do feel good. Definitely. Mm -hmm. right. And if, if you currently, if somebody doesn't feel good, maybe they should do something nice mm -hmm. and right. and get that warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. feeling. Because yeah, I, I think you definitely... It's those kind of things that get people's yeah. attention, you know, and it, it kind of brings us to mind, you know, to think. When I do something for someone else, I feel good. Right. And maybe I forget about my own problems too, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that is what this season's all about it in a is. lot of different ways, is giving of what you can to help neighbors in your community who are struggling um, right you know that there are ways that people can do that year-round so we want to provide them with your website and how they can contact you folks at this uh, Salvation Army in East Stroudsburg it's mm -hmm. Salvation Army East Stroudsburg org right and then you have a phone number as well you want to share 570-421-3050 421 3050, right. area code 570. And you're located right there in East Stroudsburg, but you do serve as Monroe County, parts of Pike County, you right. know, outer right. regions Outlying of the Poconos areas. as well. Most of the Poconos is ours. And it's a year round need. Mm -hmm. It really is. And Michael, for uh, Bold Gold Media Group, mm -hmm. I know that um, you guys have this shower for charity for the Wayne County Children's Christmas Bureau. How can people find out about this on December 11th, 10 a.m.? So we will have it on our Facebook pages on uh, 95.3 DNH on Classic Hits. Uh, we do some stuff on the River Facebook page as well. Um, but you can call with the donation, call Joanne at 570-253-1616, and, and Joanne can send you some information, get you details. Listen, I know this is going to air all during s the uh, all during December, so it may be after the fact, but listen, we'll take money on the yeah. 12th, <laughs> on the 30th, right. in January, you know, so it's, yeah, it is a good it's thing. It's never too much. It, right. No. It's never too late, it's never too much, and it's never too little, you know. Right. It's, Here's somebody has a dime or a quarter mm -hmm. or a hundred dollars. Yeah. Thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Two thousand. Right? That's <laughs> what we're, we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Just, just give, give of what you can. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, tell me then uh, one last thought that you have then to leave people with uh, during this season of giving. What motivates me is just remembering the people in need. I call them the hidden generation people who have deep needs that it seems like society doesn't even realize they exist. Mm -hmm. I remind myself of those people and just keep plugging through and get done what I need to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Major Wheeler? I just would want to express thanks to all who give mm. and to all who give of themselves, not just money. It's not just about money. It's about giving of ourselves and and God blesses us for, for yeah. mm. our sacrifices in that way. Indeed. Yeah. And Michael, I mean, hopefully it's warm weather, man, but you, you said it, <laughs> listen, it, even if it's cooler out there, listen, maybe people I, will give more. Wind is the enemy. Wind <laughs> is not our friend. Right. And I want to, you know, again, I'm the, I'm the guy that stands in the shower, whatever, but it, it's the businesses, it's the people, and I want to seriously thank everybody who right. helps, everybody right. who donates. Mm -hmm. People drive by from out of town and they're donating $10, $500, literally, like my son will come up and say, Dad, somebody just gave me five $100 bills mm -hmm. like from out of town. That's great. Some are in yeah. town, some are out of town, but we have so many generous people in, in Wayne and Pike County. It's yeah. and, and mm -hmm. beyond. But right. I mean yeah. so thank you. It, yeah, it is awesome. All right. So people December eleventh. December eleventh. Yes. December eleventh, ten AM, 
Hopefully not going into the night, <laughs> like that 42 hour. We'll be praying. Yeah, no, no, listen, no. <laughs> listen, there is, there is a limit. Uh, I will, I, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll cut that baby Save short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thanks to each of you for what you do and, and all of your team members getting out there in the community mm -hmm. and making the Poconos a much, uh, you know, a much better place to live um, and, and to coexist with people who, mm -hmm. who are uh, finding themselves in greater need this time of year. So thank you for doing all that. And thank you for Thank making you. people aware of that yeah. yes. we'll spread cool the stuff. word yeah. anytime thank we can that's what we're here for yeah. so <laughs> thank you for joining us we hope everybody has a very happy and safe holiday the salvation army in east stroudsburg serving the pocono mountains as well as the shower for charity featuring michael g stanton just some of the amazing ways our community gives back this and every holiday season want to learn to ski the pocono mountains is the place to be with lessons for every age. You'll be skiing or snowboarding in no time. Right. Now you're doing it by yourself. And learning is fun. And the views are beautiful. Choose from six amazing ski areas. Learn more at PoconoSki.com. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. As I mentioned, the previous organizations and events are just some of the many efforts to help others in the Poconos. Let's learn more from the Pocono Mountains United Way as its campaign continues here in 2021. We are living in uncertain times, not knowing when life will get back to normal. At the Pocono Mountains United Way, we want better than normal because normal just wasn't working for thousands of our neighbors. An old broken system won't fix the challenges we face. Last year, many things changed, but not all things. We've been identifying and responding to Monroe County's most pressing needs for over 75 years. Today's challenges are no different. Thanks to motivated people just like you, we were built for this. What I found to be very valuable about the tax program is that first of all, they kept it going even though there was the pandemic. For me personally, getting my taxes done for, uh, for free by people who are friendly, nice and competent is just a really cool thing. With your help, we want to reimagine a new normal and build a more equitable and resilient Monroe County. We don't do our work alone. It's people like you and our incredible community partners that help us drive real change. The tough work that's needed right now, that's the work we make happen every day. People, programs, performance, that's what we're all about here. And, and I feel like uh, everything we're doing as far as this community goes, whether it be VITA, ALICE, and um, you know, the ERAP program, and all the rental assistance, all those things are, are paramount. We, We've just done a really good job as a group and as a community of identifying needs, whether they be crisis-based or future-based. In our current climate, the first thing that hits me is the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Uh, we've distributed over two and a half million dollars to date, and in Monroe County, it takes uh, over two and a half minimum wage jobs to stay above the poverty line, and, and that's powerful. How has the lack of resources for basic needs affected the region and affected you? It has affected the region because it causes so much distress on the people. Um, not being able to get what you need or have what you need at hand causes to be people to be more depressed um, and fall into a very needy position where you don't know how to get out of that rabbit hole. If it wasn't for United Way, and I'm being super honest here, I truly wouldn't have known of anything in this town to get around at all. So I'm a chef by trade um, from culinary school and everything, so I really didn't know how to survive here. But inside of United Way, the match program allows you to save money to put towards a home or a business and I was able to start my own illustrating company based with that savings and buy the equipment that I needed to get started with um, Studio Dream. And I am so excited. The match program was just amazing for me. It did wonders already. I'm already making money. Helping nearly 1,900 vulnerable Alice families avoid eviction 
by connecting them with resources like eviction, mediation, and rent payment assistance. Providing over 700 hours of in-home mentoring to young children and their families, leading to a 47% increase on their evaluation. Bringing over $275,000 in tax refunds through VITA, increasing financial stability for many families and seniors. What makes the work of Pocono Mountains United Way different from any other organization in the community? One thing that makes the United Way different here is that they are the best organization at identifying the community's needs, then finding the resources, whether it be financial or human resources, to match those needs and then deliver those services in the most efficient way uh, that they can be delivered. The Pocono Mountains United Way is bringing people together to help our community recover and thrive, united. If we work together, we can create real change, but we can't do it without you. Why do you care about the health and well-being of our community? Well, one of the main reasons I have two, uh, two kids. We've moved to uh, Monroe County in 2001. Uh, I had my first child in 2002, and I felt it was important to live in a community that I was informed of what, what type of resources were available and what was it that we could do um, to help uh, you know, the community grow in a healthy way. So in 2020, Waste Management uh, contributed $15,000 in education improvement tax credit funds um, to the Pocono Mountains United Way. Um, we really love the fact that uh, everyone is focused on education as the students of today are our leaders of tomorrow. How did the United Way help getting your daughter's vision screened? So my wife and I both work full-time jobs and with that and a newborn child it'd be very difficult for us to get our daughter screened for her vision and luckily th through United Way we were able to get her screened at her daycare and get that uh, referral to see, to, for her to see a pediatric optometrist and we got her glasses right away. With your support, we changed lives for the better. Over 15,000 lives during an uncertain 2020. In the face of those unprecedented times, hope happened. It can keep happening. All we need is you. Join us so we can continue to Respond United. Recover United. Reimagine United. Rebuild United. And live United. We were built for this by people just like you. Join the fight at PoconoUnitedWay.org. The Pocono Mountains United Way. Salvation Army, and Michael G. Stanton Shower for Charity in Honesdale. Some of the organizations and events we're so thankful for this and every holiday season. Thank you so much for listening. We really mean that. Please remember to subscribe to Pocono Mountains Podcast anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Book your trip today. <music>